Hi, welcome to Kiwi Care, the most simple and affordable self-hosted EHR solution for clinics and private practices. Kiwi Care allows you to do changes and customize your theme directly from our setting tab. There are many options available in the settings. One of them is general settings. So let's start with the first one that is general setting. So in the general setting, you can see the first option that we have is to hide all the utility links like request feature, get support documentation. So you can see documentation is here, then the help is here and the request feature is here. So if you enable it, it will remove all this link permanently. So just keep in mind if you want this links in the future, don't enable it or else it will be permanently removed. Then the next option is data formatting settings in which you can change the data format setting from here. If you don't know the formats, you can click on this link and it will show you some of the formats. So I will change it for an example, I will just do it. I will write the year first and then the month and the date and we will just click on save. Now let's go to our appointment widget and see the change in the date. So I will just speedily book an appointment and log in into the patient. And here you can see that a uh, date is shown which is in the year, then the month and the date. That's how we change in our system. And you can change it any other format you want. You can just use this link to get the formats. And then the next option is clinic currency prefix and postfix. So we have the option to change the currency prefix and postfix which is the dollar and the only sign. So first let's see how it looks in the system, one of the part. That is, we will go into the doctor and here you can see. So for that, we will go into the service and here you can see the charges in which you have the dollar and only sign. Now let's go into the setting and change the prefix to hashtag and we will just click on save. Now let's go back to that tab in the service and we will just refresh it. And now you can see our prefix has been changed to hashtag from the dollar. This is how you can change the prefix and postfix according to your preference. Then I will just redo it and click on save. Now the next option that we have is Google reCAPTCHA. You can use it to protect your website from the threats. So just enable it and you can see we need two different things that is site key and secret key. So to get them we will click on this link that we have here and it will directly take you to this Google reCAPTCHA page where you have to register your site. So we'll firstly write the label that is our name of the site which is Kiwi Care. Then I will select the recapture type that is the version 3. I am using the latest version because it will protect more. Then uh, we will add the domain. We will just click on it and add the domain here. I, you can add your domain and then you can see the owner and you will accept the terms and services of recapture and you can just click on submit and it will provide you the site key and the secret key. You can just copy them one by one and add it to our setting in reCAPTCHA and you can just simply then click on save. Now we will see how this Google reCAPTCHA works. So we'll just go to our register and login page. This page you can also add it directly from the widget that we have in KiwiCare. So to protect it, we will just refresh it and you can see that our recapture has been added to this page and our system is safe now. Now let's go back to the settings and the next option that is a logout redirecting. So we have this amount of model which is the clinic, doctor, receptionist and patient and whenever they are logging into their account, if they want to log out, you can select the link that they will redirect to. If you want them to go to your website directly or the login page or any link that you want, you can just change it from here. So whenever they log out, they will direct it to that link. So you can just change it and shave it here if you want to or you can use this too only. So our last option is full calendar settings. So first let's see where it is useful. So in KiwiCare every module we have this appointment booking calendar where they can see the past and the upcoming bookings. And on the left corner you can see there is one note which says they use a valid license key. In KiwiCare we have used this third party calendar plugin so we have the free version of it. If you want it to be the pro version and you don't want this note to be coming into your website you can just click on this more information and buy the license from their website. And you can simply just copy that license key and save it in our KiwiCare settings of the license key and you can just click on save and that note will be removed from your calendar and then you can use it without any hurdles. So this was some of the general settings in KiwiCare. You can just simply use them to customize some of the things in KiwiCare. 
and there are many more settings available we have the videos for all of them you can just check them out if you are stuck at any point so try kiwi care free demo today